Provoking factors include what brings the pain on, eating or moving a certain way. The quality of pain is useful in diagnosing the underlying cause. Descriptors such as heavy, dull, sharp, aching, crushing, and or throbbing are more indicative of nociceptive pain, while descriptors like burning, shooting, prickling, tingling, electrical, or knife-like are more characteristic of neuropathic pain. It is critical to obtain information about the quality of pain early in the diagnosis and when the patient expresses a sudden elevation in pain symptoms. Region and radiation is the next portion of the assessment process. The patient can be asked to mark the location on a figure drawing or point to the location on his or her body and if the pain radiates anywhere in the body. If more than one site exists, clearly label the locations A, B, C, etc. Using a rating scale to determine the severity is the most reliable measure of a patient's pain. For adults and children who understand numbers, the 0 to 10 numeric rating scale, or NRS, is easy to use, does not require visual acuity, can be administered verbally, and is sensitive to changes in pain perception. For these reasons, it is increasingly recommended as the tool of choice. When using the numeric rating scale, 0 represents no pain and 10 represents the worst pain imaginable. You're not feeling so good. For children who do not understand numbers, the Wong Baker Faces pain rating scale is widely used. The traditional FACES scale shows a numeric rating scale on a 0 to 5 scale with word anchors. Hi, Mommy. No, I'm not your mommy, Mrs. Johnson. Look at these FACES. Let's look at it again. For cognitively impaired adults, the Wong Baker FACES pain rating scale has also been shown to be useful. Studies have shown that some adults prefer the use of the FACES scale to the NRS scale, and therefore, it may be considered as a useful universal pain assessment scale for both adults and children. Severity or symptoms refers to associated symptoms at the time of pain. Is the patient experiencing symptoms such as nausea, lightheadedness, or anorexia? Timing refers to the time of the pain. Does it occur after meals, upon arising in the morning, or at the end of the day?